Introducing the new features added in NI700 R2 P1 bundle in combination with the Socrates 1.6.2 version. Now there's a new flow to generate the time enclosure report for all connections and the toggle on canvas for adjusting tolerance when determining the time enclosure. On the paths editor, there's a new functionality to set traffic profiles to be automatically applied on a new path for both read request and write request channels. And also on path matrix, there's a new functionality to, to allow multi-selection of paths and assignment of traffic profiles. New draft mode parameter added to NOC architecture engine section. In this mode, the architecture engine foregoes detailed optimization in favor of improved runtime. And lastly, there's a new wizard to migrate NI700R2P0 to NI700R2P1. Generating time enclosure report of the component. Before you begin, you must have successfully run the high level specification and the architecture design rule checks for the NI700 component. To run the timing report generation flow, click the timing report icon on the canvas toolbar. The timing report opens in a new editor tab. The report shows each connection, the distance and the proportion of the clock cycle taken to travel that distance. For each connection, it looks at the clock frequency and the approximate distance to estimate what proportion of the clock cycle will be used. This is an approximate calculation that you can use when deciding whether additional pipeline routers are required. In the Timing Report Editor tab, red rows indicate connections which does not meet the timing, including the one which would take 1.9 clock cycles. The Canvas has a similar time enclosure report feature. Connections not meeting time enclosure are shown in red. You can adjust the tolerance for the time enclosure calculation used for this feature using the drop-down control on the canvas toolbar. With this, you can now set a threshold to avoid highlighting the near misses. Now let's see how we can break the timing path shown in the first column of our timing report. This is from ASNI0 to Router1. We will go into our canvas and find our path. This is ASNI0 and this is Router1. So this path is shown in red because this path is not meeting in the timing closure. And now we will add a pipe planning router to this path and the color goes back to normal. Let us generate the timing report again. And we can now see that our timing issue is resolved in the timing report. You can also export the timing report as a spreadsheet for easier sorting. The report is saved in both HTML and CSV formats in your project directory. Memory map export and import flows. To reuse memory maps, you can export all memory maps in a configuration to a CSV file and then import that file into a new NI700 configuration. Use the memory map export flow button on the memory maps editor. This exports all memory maps in the current configuration to a CSV file in the project folder. To use the import flow, right click on the newly created project and select import. Please note that the target project must be empty. Select NI700 and then select NI700 memory map import. Specify the location of the memory map CSV file and we can also give a new name suffix to the configuration and click finish. The import flow accurately reproduces the memory maps of the original configuration. However, 
all the interfaces are defaulted to AXI5 and you must update the configuration to pass the design rule checks. Pets Editor section New Functionalities You can set a traffic profile to automatically add it to a new path for both read request and write request channels in Pets Editor. The Pets Editor now also allow multi-selection of pads and the assignment of the traffic profiles. New draft mode parameter added to NOC Architecture Engine section. In this mode, the architecture engine forgoes a detailed optimization in favor of improved runtime. The goal is to generate an NI700 which satisfies the connectivity and other constraints. This is especially useful for large designs where running the architecture engine in regular mode can take a while. Use draft mode to fix any input issues before running the architecture engine in regular mode. Designs generated in a draft mode have inferior PPA and are not appropriate for production. For production designs, either run the NFC architecture engine in regular mode or manually optimize the design generated by draft mode. Migrate an existing R2P0 version of an NI700 component to a new version R2P1 component in a different project. In the Project Explorer, right-click on the target project and click Import. Select Socrates NI700 and migrate R2P0 to R2P1 and click Next. You would need to select the project to migrate into and enter the full path of the R2P0 NI700 configuration file that you want to migrate. You can also use the browse to find the configuration file. Alternatively, select the project containing the R2P0 NI700 configuration file that you want to migrate and click finish.